Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. This will be the final episode, so this is going to be pretty quick, to be fair. Uh, we are going to go to the King's Gate in Drangle Castle. When I find Drangle Castle. I'm probably staring right at it. That one. Cool. King's Gate. So this will be where we fought the uh, the Throne Watcher. Or the Throne Witches, plural. Alright, you may as well pop on your King's Ring. Just to open the door. So many goddamn rings. the blades ring all right now we have a double boss fight coming up you have Nath uh, Nishandra which is the final boss of the game uh, final boss of the base game all right then after you've completed the DLC stuff you will be able to fight the I think it's the scholar it's the giant burning head that was um talking to us throughout the, the journey sort of thing. Um, at this point in time, neither are a threat. Nishandra especially. Just because if you can beat the Iron King DLC, the Iron King DLC, the Ivory King DLC, the Iron King and the Sunken King, you will be fine. Uh, we do have a few summons to choose from. We have Bradley the Old Guard. We have Head of Vengal. And we have Beinhardt of Oh, Jugo. I've been calling him Hugo this whole time. <laughs> so we've got Beinhardt. Beinhardt, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce stuff. Don't even need summons. It's just for the sake of, I don't know, distracting them, I guess. So anyway, Nishandra is over here. She's going to sum up four little baubles around her. These will curse you. So you can attack them. You can even fire arrows at them and it should kill them. Maybe not. Uh, my suggestion is keeping one alive so that she doesn't continuously try to spawn those things. But I mean like, you'll be able to kill her pretty easy. Alright, you get behind her. She does do an AoE so she can push us off the ledge if we're not careful. I think this is it here. But honestly, not a tough boss. Oh, she did spawn more. Okay. Apparently, they also sap your health. I mean, again, not a threat. And that's Nishandra. Alright, we will make ourselves human. We'll heal. Soul of Nishandra. Right, so this will be my second attempt against this guy. He, uh, he is a lot more, uh, I'm going to say challenging than I give him credit for. He's still just a giant sponge. When he teleports, he does an AoE. Alright, if you see tentacles come out of his face, they're going to go into the ground. This fire all around him can hurt you. Um, he does this attack here, which does take its time to build up, but will 
pretty much kill us in one hit if it hits us. Alright, so the tentacles are going in the ground, probably gonna, yep, shoot up there. Just hold your shield up, you should be fine. I'm gonna wait for his flame to go away. You probably get about two hits on him, depending on how close you are. I probably could have got three. Alright, we got this thing. Again, probably could have got three with that, but that is fine. Yeah, so, didn't quite one-shot us, but damn, it took off a lot of health. That thing has killed me both times. Hearing. Big wall of flame. Now, these ones can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Alright, they sort of stun lock you, so you just want to sort of dodge away from them. Alright, where are you going to appear? Over there. Three attack. Yes, yeah, sweet. So he's not difficult, he just likes to be taken a bit more seriously. Oh lord. It is fine. One more hit. There we go. I love him and remain here patiently. The throne will certainly receive you. But the question remains. What do you want? Tell me. Light, dark, or something else entirely. Alright, so from here we can exit, or we can go straight ahead. Um, for the sake of getting this ending, I may as well just go straight ahead. Proceed to throne. And that is Dark Souls 2, completely wrapped up. It's been a long time coming, I've wanted to do this walkthrough for ages. In fact, I used to have one or two, but they just, they weren't wholesome. Like, I feel like that went incredibly smoothly up until the Ivory King. I'll admit those last couple of episodes were a bit um, touch and go. There was actually a few items that I missed too. I was going to recall getting them, but then backtracking to them and stuff there was a lot of deaths uh, just for a couple of trash items too I think it was like the dark dark clutch ring which wasn't that great um, monastery charms that sort of thing so yeah didn't worry about that anyways I think that'll be it here thank you all for watching hit that like button subscribe to the page I'll see you here next time